tensioning loose cable. When your trans bolt is upright, position the power carriage near the bottom of the track section. Remove the solar panel platform or roofing platform. Press and hold the jog and down buttons while pulling out 3 to 4 feet of cable. Carefully hold the cable from about 4 feet out from the power carriage. Apply tension to the cable. While applying tension to the cable, press and hold jog and up until the power carriage begins moving up the track section. Once the power carriage starts moving up the track section, release the cable. Respooling the cable. Do not operate your trans vault if the cable is bird nested. Operating your trans vault while bird nested may result in permanent damage to the power carriage. Press and hold the down button while keeping tension on the cable. Pull the cable from the power carriage in a controlled motion until the entire spool is unwound. Be sure to remove any bird nested cable and allow the cable to pass through the spool notch. Remove the spool guard from the power carriage. Position the spool notch with the up or down button so that it faces towards you. Thread the cable end through the spool notch so the ferrule locks into place. Press the up button to begin respooling the cable. Guide the cable on the spool while the drum is winding. If any kinks or damage to the cable is discovered, do not operate your trans vault. Contact your sales representative for a replacement cable. Allow the cable to respool until you are able to retension the power carriage as shown in step one. Attach the spool guard so it is secured to the power carriage. Attach the panel to the power carriage. Attach the hoist platform to the power carriage. Secure the pull straps. Always reset the home locations after troubleshooting your trans vault. Contact customer service for any technical issues regarding your trans vault.